we are celebrating the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. Tag po dito, Christ the King. Bata kami, Christo Rey, celebration. It is the end, uh, the peak of our Christian calendar. That's why next Sunday, it will already be the opening of a new year, Advent, Year C, for our liturgical uh, season. And uh, we would like to reflect on the perspective of leadership and authority of from our Christian culture on leading and serving. That's why we entitled it Authority in Service, Humility, and Hope. It's from John chapter 18, 33b to 37. This is where Pilate and Jesus were in conversation. Pilate was uh, questioning Jesus. And Jesus stood his ground. And uh, it, there's a lot of reflection on how we look at Jesus in his perspective of leadership. Uh, Christian leadership is actually a counterculture to the modern ways of we see how this, we see leadership today. Yung mga leaders ngayon, typically we see them as they are surrounded with servants, with bodyguards, assistants. And uh, there's a lot of uh, display of... Uh, <sighs> material uh, uh, pump and there uh, an, is an air of arrogance and vanity and vainglory that defines uh, some uh, present day authority. On the extreme, there is also the expressions of uh, terror and fear, kinakatakutan, especially in the minds of the public, that may curtail their freedom and freedom of self-expression. But uh, Christian leadership runs counter to this worldly practice of authority. Lalo na pa naman, nasa konteksto tayo ng malapit na po tayo sa panahon ng election next year. Ngayon pa lang, hindi pa talaga election season. Talagang nakikita nyo na there's already everybody's uh, name are already around. Pero maybe it's a good reminder for us. Christ the King offers to us our understanding of what it means to be a leader. Even from our perspective, when we talk about Christian leadership, una, we would like to reflect on Jesus teaching us to serve as the core of authority. And uh, they are all servant of all. In Mark chapter 9.35, which reads, If anyone would be first, he must be la last of all and servant of all. And second, humility is recognized by Jesus in the leadership of the centurion, not even from the leadership of his disciples or leadership of the Jewish society or from the leaders of the temple. It was from a humble uh, centurion, uh, we can call him a pagan, a Gentile, but he said, Lord, I do not deserve to come, uh, you don't, I don't deserve that you come under my roof. Just say the word. And my servant, my slave, would be healed. And recognizing that he himself, as a centurion, humbly recognizing the authority of Jesus. Just say the word. I'm not... Diba, noon, nag, pag nag-prefers, magko-communion tayo, Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and my servant. Ang salita ng, ng uh, centurion po yun, a very humble leader. And lastly, if you are a, a good reader, a, a, a real leader, you do not make people afraid or insecure. You give them hope. Jesus always says, do not be afraid. I am with you. Even when the woman was already caught in the act of adultery, in that very desperate situation, Jesus said, either I condemn you, go and sin no more. It was challenging. He gave new life and hope to this woman. Ito po yung magiging kwentuhan natin. Our dear friend, Judge Jovai Mercado, will proclaim to us the gospel from John 18, 33b to 37. Pakinggan po natin ang ating Evangelio. Pagbasa mula sa Evangelio Ayon kay San Juan Noong panahong iyon, 
itinanong ni Pilato kay Jesus, Ikaw ba ang hari ng mga Hudyo? Sumagot si Jesus, Iyan ba'y galing sa inyong sariling isipan o may nagsabi sa inyo? Ako ba'y Hudyo? Tanong ni Pilato. Ang mga kababayan mo at ang mga punong saserdote ang nagdala sa yurito. Ano ba ang ginawa mo? Sumagot si Jesus, Ang kaharian ko'y hindi sa sanlibutang ito. Kung sa sanlibutang ito ang aking kaharian, ipinakipaglaban sana ako ng aking mga tauhan at hindi na ipagkanulo sa mga Hudyo. Ngunit, hindi sa sanlibutang ito ang aking kaharian. Kung gayon, isa kang hari, sabi ni Pilato, sumagot si Jesus, Kayo na ang nagsasabing, ako'y hari. Ito ang dahilan kung bakit ako ipinanganak at naparito sa sanlibutan upang magsalita tungkol sa katotohanan. Nakikinig sa aking tinig ang sinumang nasa katotohanan. Ang mabuting balita ng Panginoon. Thank you for staying with us dito sa Men of Light. Tayo po ay uh, nagdiriwang ng uh, Christo Rey, Christong Hari, the Solemnity of uh, Christ the King. Ito po si Father Deo Galang. Nagpapasalamat po sa inyo sa oras ninyo pagbibigay dito sa Men of Light. Jovay Rosario Mercado po. Kumusta po kayo? Joey Angeles po. Uh, kumusta po kayo? And uh, thank you very much. Uh, we are also with our team of volunteers led by Father Jonathan Bartolome. Ang ating pong reflection, parang Christ the King is hooks the post with the concept of modern leadership. <clears throat> What is offered as an option to understand and appreciate leadership today? <clears throat> and uh, lalo na in the context of uh, a crisis of leadership, not only in our country but even around the world. Una, naalala ko, during Holy Week meron tayong... Uh, Ritual, yung Webe Santo, the Gospels about the washing of the feet. At hindi lang po, it was not, it's not something that is uh, proclaimed only. It is really, Dan. parang parang dramatized talaga. Ako bilang pare, I really go down and wash the feet of 12 disciples. As I really kiss them. No? Ako mismo, para sa akin. No? That's very meaningful for me. Yeah, parang very clear and very picturesque, very clear example of leadership. To be to kiss each other, parang humble and yet to be ready, ready to serve each other, isn't it? Na, parang nararasa mo ito kay Father yes, Adriano. Yes, oo. Na, na banggit po ninyo yung washing of the feet. I was uh, privileged and honored to be one of the 12 apostles last uh, <laughs> last Holy Week. Uh, Naimbita po tayo ni uh, Reverend Father Adrian Paule, yung hmm. parish priest namin sa Guagua. You know, we always see it from the perspective of the priest kasi yun nga yung gusto nating makita, mm -hmm. a leader in uh, humility. Pero yung effect niya dun sa, well at least in my case, no, it was really staggering. So yung humility parang nagbo-wash dun, mm -hmm. <laughs> dun sa pagkatao mo. No? The, the experience was so touching for me na I could feel the warmth on my feet actually hours until... Uh, hours, hours and hours after the mass. Yeah. Oh, it was a different. Uh, it was sort of a little conversion, also. Yeah. This is experience. a nice topic, uh, <coughs> Father Deo, about uh, uh, real leadership, real authority. And uh, you, in your opening address a while ago, you were talking about the leaders, comparing it with leaders today. You no, know, it's counterculture. Yeah. Uh, what is counterculture is the Christian culture, Christian perspective. Yeah. Uh, I, I read about this person. If you remember the 1990 earthquake, Luzon earthquake, uh, 
yeah. that uh, destroyed, uh, devastated Baguio, Baguio. And, yeah. and, and, and Nueva Ecija. Yeah. No? Yes. There's a story of a, a, a high school student, mm -hmm. and um, he, was, he was a leader. He yeah. was a class president. Oh. And uh, uh, they were studying at that time. And when the 7.8 magnitude earthquake uh, struck, gumuhu yung, yung school building. Uh, and they were all trapped there. Uh, what he did was he, he wiggled his way out. And when he was able to wiggle his way out, he told his classmates, uh, those who were trapped, Jan lang kayo, babalik ako kayo. I will save you. I'll come back, sabi niya. And he did come back into the rubble. And he, he helped people get well, out. He would come in, come out, come in, come out. He was able to save like five classmates and two teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he went back. Mm -hmm. He went back. And when he went back on the fourth try, I think, uh, he had an aftershock. Oh, right. And he died. Oh. He died. Uh, the, the leadership that you're talking about, Father Day, servant leadership, uh, they do not put uh, personal interest um, in the four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Instead, it's service. Yeah. Others first. Yes. yes. Yun yung importante dun. Yeah. In fact, uh, even before positions, uh, nyare, we all started nothing, no? <laughs> members. We all started nothing. Yung mayor ngayon, dati silang lay people. Mm -hmm. Or mga pari ngayon, dati silang lay persons. Or mga judge, dati silang lay yeah. persons. We, we started with uh, almost, sabi nga ni Jake, uh, job. We were naked mm -hmm. <laughs> when we were born. And yet, it is the intention to serve, to help. And people recognize that. Matulungan ka naman, sige, why don't you, why don't you, maybe we want to nominate you, di ba noon? I don't nominate myself. Yeah. Yes. People nominate you, di ba? <laughs> so, dyan tayo. And from there, that in immediate intention of service, sabi mo, is the core of what Jesus tells us. Uh, si Peter, when Jesus already ascended to heaven, di ba when Peter was, uh, with Jesus, he was very rash, uh, very rash, impulsive. very impulsive. May ilit yung ulo. I even questioned Jesus' suffering. I don't know. <laughs> and then later on, he mellowed into yeah. a, a real leader. Sabi niya, First Peter, chapter five. Sabi niya, don't lord it over the people assigned to your care. Look at the term, assigned to your care, but lead them with your own good example, not bossily. Telling others what to do, but tenderly showing them the way. Neither as lording it over the charge a lot to you, but making yourself examples of the flock. Parang, balang hindi si Peter, eh, no? Parang pagbabago na that conversion is yes. wonderful for us to see. When, sabi nga, yung matandang tawag sa Paris Priest, kura, paroko. Ang gusto sabi ng kura, caregiver. Mm -hmm. Caregiver of the parish, more than authority, more than the position, more than the title, more than the office of parish priest, is that caring person that will take good care of you if you are a priest. And uh, I think that's a very good core to, to how, how we understand leadership. Kait wala ka man sa simbahan, kait sa opisina, kait sa gobyerno, kait sa private corporation, even sa mga homeowners, <laughs> kait sa. sa among among class class uh, 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 groups, parang that's the core of what Jesus means with leadership. Among from your reflection, pumasok tuloy sa akin na ang first authority figure ng bata ay ang magulang niya. Yeah, yeah. Right. So uh, napaka importante uh, kung ano yung ugali ng magulang niya. Mm. Uh, pumapasok yung sinabi ni Peter. Tapos meron ding uh, author recently, si Simon Sinek, na banggit din niya siya kanina. Sabi niya, leadership is not about being in charge. Mm. Leadership is about taking care of those in your charge. Yes. No? So, naiisip ko palagi yung magulang kung paano sila sa mga anak nila. Mm. No? So, yun ang authority figure mo. Yun ang nakikita mong example. So, paglabas mo, pagtanda mo, yun ang bit-bit mong example ng authority. Yeah. And the parents are the best examples of authority. Lalo na 
if they did it, they the right did way. their parenting in humility. Just to like saying it to among the other, yeah. that I found out that the Latin root word pala of authority is octor. Oh. It means octors, meaning somebody who originates or creates, okay. like author. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a book. Oh. It's the root word of the word author, pala. Oh, no? So you create, uh, and our image of uh, a leader, a, a, a person in authority, is like a general who says jump, mm -hmm. and then the the soldiers mm -hmm. say how high, well, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Parang susunod ka na lang. Mm -hmm. But a better image is is a gardener, yeah. a gardener who who looks for the plants that are will, uh, a bit wilting and then put water over them. And uh, okay, yeah, those young trees, the, uh, the saplings that are about to break because they're, they're too heavy, top-heavy, yeah. niya ng, ng tukod, mm -hmm. di ba? Yung service is life, supposed to be life-giving, like parents, di ba? Yes. Uh, like and that, that kind of authority of service, involves service, is life-giving. Amen, amen. Thank you. And uh, then Christian leadership focuses on empowering and supporting others rather than seeking personal gain. Sabi nga natin, this, this approach can help us build trust, credibility, and a lasting positive impact, even without formal authority, as long as we give ourselves in service to one another. Nagbabalik po ang men of light after a few moments. This time, we will see leadership and authority from the perspective of humility. Thank you for staying with us dito sa Men of Light. Kasama niyo pa rin po si Judge Jovay Mercado, si Brother Joey Angeles, at ako po si Father Deo Galang. We are together with our volunteers dito po sa Men of Light in our studio. Yung ikalawang punto ho natin is uh, humility, humility or authority is also expressed in humility. Parang oxymoron yata ito, eh. parang magkakontra magka yata ito, parang hindi pwede, pwede, pero hindi eh. Kahit na Minsan, we are very proud, but, you know, I'm the president, what are we in power for? Mm -hmm. We're in authority, but that's not our Christian way of living. Eh. Parang, it's contrary to how we understand leadership because kilala ka naman eh. Kung ikaw yung talagang mayor, kung ikaw yung talagang, hindi, ka, hindi mo na kailangan pakilala sa sarili mo. And uh, here in the gospel, uh, Jesus mentions very particularly a centurion, a Gentile, who approached Jesus. In fact, he approached Jesus not for himself. Di ba? I'm, I'm the leper, I'm the blind man, I'm the sinner. But this time, it was a centurion, a man of authority, a Roman soldier. And yet, he was begging Jesus to heal his servant. His, uh, parang may sakit po yung aking, hindi ba anak, di asawa, di pamilya. His uh, servant, his uh, slave. In fact, I mean, if you can, in reality, you can dispose of your slave. You can, sorry for the term, you can buy another slave. And yet he cared for his slave. And then said, Lord, I am not worthy to receive you under my roof. Kasi sabi ni Jesus, oh, pupuntahan natin. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Just say the word. And my servant, my slave, would be healed. Because I'm a man of authority. When I say, I do this, do this, they do that. Just say it, Lord. Parang ganun siya. Sincerely, no? Kaya Jesus was struck, not because of the sick person, because of the humility. Na a person, a, a leader in humility. Parang that is what attracts the Lord maybe for us. Even we attract people in our humility. Not because we just want to show that we are humble, parang humble. No? <laughs> that disposition, pare-pareho lang naman tayo. So happen that I want to serve you. <laughs> and... Na, natuwa po ako dun sa, nung binabasa ko to on humility, no? Na, I came across a quote from C.S. Lewis. Mm -hmm. no? He said, uh, humility in leadership is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. So that means uh, you think of everyone around you, you are servant to all, and Ang pumapasok ko sa isip ko si Mother Teresa. Hmm. 
Kasi si Mother Teresa was for me the perfect example of a humble servant no? mm -hmm. uh, who lived her life in humility, mm -hmm. in the service of all. No? Uh, napakagandang example nung buhay niya yeah. sa atin. Lalo na, siguro mas, mas naaantig ako kasi nakita natin siyang buhay eh. Yeah. <laughs> diba? Nakita natin siyang buhay, na, yeah. nakikita natin siya sa TV, nakikita natin, nababasa natin yung buhay niya. Nagpunta sa Pilipinas. Oo, oo nagpunta siya dito. Hindi ba napakalayo ba Namit nung niya ginagawa siya niya? <laughs> so baka isang kotse niya po siya? Talaga? Oh, yeah. <laughs> o yun. So talagang yung pong example niya ng humility talagang. Tsaka yun natural yun ha. Hindi contrived yun. Yeah. Hindi, hindi dahil lang it's an example of a good leader. no? Dahil ganun siya as a person. Yeah. Another example, as far as humility is concerned, another example of a personality that uh, nakita ko, uh, nakita kong buhay, si uh, Pope John Paul II. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I found this a little trivia about him. No? In November 2001, he wrote his first email. Okay, <laughs> He wrote his first email in, in November 2001. And guess what he said in his email? He was actually, and this was surprised a lot of people, he was asking for forgiveness. Mm. Forgiveness. Uh, his first email, what did he apologize for? And uh, he apologized for the sexual abuse cases yeah. per per perpetrated by, by the clergy. Yes. Uh, how the missionaries in China behaved during the colonial times. Hindi na niya panahon ito eh. Diba? And for the church's role in separating more than 30,000 Aboriginal children in Australia yeah. from their parents. Diba? Uh, he could have done it personally, but you know, he was limited by circumstances from traveling. And then the email was his next best option. Yes. And guess what? His first email was the one that they remembered uh, most. Uh, go, looking back at what he did, the humility that he showed, John Paul II was actually strengthening the church. Mm -hmm. uh, authority does not mean that you are never wrong. Eh? Yes. Uh, uh, it, it, it means being honest enough to admit yes. uh, what went wrong and try to fix it. Mm. Eh, kumbaga, lalong tumitibay ang yeah. simbahan dun eh. Yeah. And later on, he, he apologized for a lot of things also. Yeah. Not just through email, through his addresses, yes. public yeah. addresses. There's a lot of uh, humility when you say, I'm sorry. Yes. yes. I'm sorry. And then you say, <laughs> and uh, I've been sincere expression of uh, uh, remorse. No? And uh, it takes a lot of humility, even strength. Para magpasorry ka yes. when you are already in authority. Mm -hmm. Kasi sabi nga, there are things beyond us. In fact, sabi mo nga, uh, that's way beyond this time. It's beyond our control. And yet, if you are in authority, parang you absorb the, 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 the real responsibility. And uh, that, that man uh, is, uh, is also seeing Jesus uh, from a distance that his own humility no? uh, as, a, as the Lord. Na yung very pa strong image sa akin nung namatay si Lazarus. Eh. <laughs> Dumating siya late, <laughs> four days na naliving. Yeah. Ang humarap sa kanya, itong si Martha, very strong personality. Hindi <coughs> si Mary. Ang galit. My brother would not have died if you were here, sabi niya. No? Parang pinagkalitan pa siya. <laughs> but, but he did not even... Yes. And then Sabin, I know, God will, well, God will give you whatever you ask. I know, He will, you, He will last, He will be alive in the resurrection on the last day. And then Jesus, talaga pinagkalitan siya. Alam ko, alam ko. And yet, just, if you believe, no, that He will live, and over whoever believes in me will have eternal life. Do you believe this? Yun lang. And that kind of humility, para al alam niya sus yung kinakalaban niya, si, si Martha, kaibigan niya. Parang hindi niya pinatulan uh -huh. in that moment that he had the authority, he knows better, but he was just there because he really cared for, for the family, especially for Lazarus and that humility of Jesus. Even sabi niya, he cried at that moment. Yes. No? yes. It's, look at him, he cried, yes. the son of God, the father, no crying. <laughs> sabi that, siguro ni, nila kay Martha, consider yourself chastised. <laughs> <laughs> then Jesus said, uh, <laughs> where did you bury him? No? Mm -hmm. 
Sige, see how much he loved Lazarus. No? Yes, he Sa kapampangan, leme, kaluguran ng Lazarus. Mm -hmm. Pwede ng kaluguran, he's a true friend of Lazarus, or kaluguran, he's also, he really loved Lazarus. That kind of personal relationship. And the person of Jesus, it, it, some kind of a, ang tawag dito, parang a, behind the camera scene to, eh, yung parang the humility, behind the miracle. He brought that humility and that love, care, brought Lazarus back to life. Isn't it? Kaya nga po, uh, ngayon, it always makes, makes us to be proud. Totoo naman, dapat yung mga bata, they have self-confidence. Huh? Dapat they have their own. Sabi nga, presentation natin, dapat maganda. Naalala ko yung isang, no, just one story before we, we, we close this. May isang apo, nag-aral ng master's, mm -hmm. nag-MA. Magaling sa university. Eh, lolo niya, farmer. At saka yung lolo niya, farmer, talaga siya yung nagtatrabaho. Kaya nga, tapos yung tatay niya, pati itong apo, nakapagtapos sa Manila. Pagdating niya, siyempre, sa kakatanim ng palay, sa kakabuhat ng palay, talaga yung katawan ng lolo niya. Stop. Lolo naman, you should be presentable. Stand and stay. You should uh, keep yourself for breast. You must be standing uh, erect. Huwag kang paganyan-ganyan, mahina yan. And then itong lolo, <laughs> matanda na, wala mo sinasi, sinabi sa apo niyang nag-aral, no? educated. <laughs> Sabi niya, apo, look at the palay. Look at our palay. Look at the lips that are standing straight. They are empty lips. Pero tignan mo yung atik sa bunga, yung maraming bunga. They are really stopping down. <laughs> and maybe that is the kind of humility that uh, you would like to propose as authority in our Christian tradition. That real authority, real leaders, puno ng bunga yan. <laughs> Kaya they could also afford to be humble. Nagbabalik po men of light for our third part where real leadership gives hope. We are at the third part of our episode dito sa Men of Light, Reflecting Authority in the context of uh, Christ the King, our understanding of leadership from our Christian perspective. This kind of authority is service, humility, and this time, hope. Uh, after a week ng ating uh, Christ the King, we already celebrate the first Sunday of Advent. It's New Year for us. In fact, this year is... Uh, designated by Pope Francis as year of our jubilee year of hope. No? Kaya nga po sakto-sakto itong ating perspective of our authority that gives hope. Kasi may template na yung authority kinakatakutan. If you want to instill discipline to your children, dapat natatakot sa'yo, dapat uh, mataas yung boses mo. O tayo, may, may mga bata nun, uh, baka mapalo tayo, masaktan tayo. But this kind of authority sometimes it does not work anymore sa mga bata. And uh, maybe it's about giving them hope more than anything else. Uh, sabi nga nung, uh, nung si Mao Zedong, no? uh, sabi niya, his more famous words, political power grows out from the barrel of the gun. Par, nakakatakot, it's quite threatening. But on the contrary, Jesus' assuring words, do not be afraid. Ilang beses niya sinabi yan. Huwag kayong matakot. Even among the twelve, lalaki yan, when they were in a boat, they were so afraid. Do not be so afraid. Kahit sa mga ano, sabi, huwag okay, kayong ma-insecure. You are worth more than a sparrow. And look at the sparrow. Wala naman, walang nagugutom dyan. No? And they are cared for. And this must be the kind of uh, leadership that we hope to have with our leaders today. Um, the Good leaders should be able to inspire. Yes, mm -hmm. amen. Uh, in order to give hope. Yes. So, yung sinasabi nyo kanina, yung authority figure na, no, you do this, you do that, pagalitan mo, sigawan mo. Even sa teaching, hindi na pwede. Kasi, uh, hindi na sila natututo sa ganun klaseng approach. 
yung methodology na yun instills fear. Hmm. It does not inspire studying. It hmm. does not inspire the student to learn. Hmm. Kaya uh, talagang nag evolve yung roles ng mga tao kahit anuman hat ang sinusuot nila for that day. Yeah. Inspirational leaders give hope. Uh, I think uh, John Maxwell calls this the level 5 leadership of yeah. personhood. No? <laughs> yung nakikita mo palang uh, inspired ka na, yeah. you feel yeah. good about yeah. it. No? Well, there's one example that I can think of. If you, uh, in Ukraine, see Vladimir, Vladimir Zelensky, the yeah. president, uh, when war broke out, he couldn't easily... Uh, went to the U.S. Or went to the U.S. or asylum. made you a safe place to stay, mm -hmm. but no. He wore a helmet, wore a bulletproof vest, and went into uh, the danger zone. Okay, yeah. but you know people saw that, yeah. and that inspired hope in his people. Yeah. Uh, eh, kung yung leader namin nandito, eh, no. bakit kami aalis? So hindi siya nakamerikana. <laughs> hindi, hindi siya nakamerikana. Hindi siya nasa and, na, and because of that, uh, bale uh, countries w donated a lot of things yeah. uh, to. For the cause of yeah. uh, Ukraine. At saka maraming Ukrainian daw, nagbalik sa Ukraine. Exactly. Para lang lumaban. Yung isa, parang, ano siya, champion ng boxing, another champion yes, for another yes. sports. They went back and... We're not, we're not, uh, we're just giving example sa, sa sitwasyon na ngayon, sa gera. No? Pero, I, I remember, nabanggit na kanina ni Judge, si Simon Sinek. Mayroon siyang uh, book. Uh, Either leaders, leaders Eat Last. Eat Last, no? Parang kinokote niya ito sa mga military people that their tradition, their leader, it last. Pero pinapakain muna yung kanilang mga uh, lower ranks. Uh, sabi niya, why do we form tribes? Nung pinakauna daw. Because we have to live together to be safe. Mm -hmm. Kung ikaw nag-iisa, kakainin ka ng leon. Yeah. Ay, kawaw ka. You cannot live alone. So, and when they live together as a tribe, somebody would not sleep. While you are sleeping, so take, take care. somebody will take good care of the tribe. There could be wild animals that would come, or maybe another tribe will attack you, or maybe the storms and the rains will come. Somebody's awake and would not sleep and would keep you safe. And people would feel that. Nakakatulog silang masarap. And that is the leader that they have. Mm -hmm. It gives them hope that tomorrow we will, uh, we will have another day and somebody uh, would be out there going around protecting. No? Kaya ito po yung concept ng leadership that gives hope. Yung hindi na nanakot, hindi nakakatakot, hindi sinasaktan ng kanyang mismong yeah. mga kanyang, kanyang, the people, this tribe. No? And I hope this old images would still in us that kind of leadership we're longing for. Parang, uh, when you look at it, uh, you want someone uh, who will lead you who will not, uh, you, you're not afraid of him. Yes. No? Oh. Ang gusto mo ay hawakan ng kamay mo na kaya natin ito, imbes na takutin ka yeah. na hindi mo, dapat ganitong gawin mo, tapos pag hindi mo kaya, papagalitan ka. Yeah. Uh, iba kasi yung culture natin ngayon, so kailangan yung nurturing instead of uh, fear, um, people being afraid of you. Yes. Kaya, uh, ang hirap din eh. Kasi kung minsan nag adjust ka no, for any given situation. So, dapat alam mo in any given situation kung paano ka gagalaw. No? And a natural leader will know what to do. Amen. Just like the little boy in your story a while ago. Uh, like, uh, you gave that example earlier, si Mother Teresa. Yeah. No? She holds no political office. Yes. She holds no power of, 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 of sorts. Yet, She's able to inspire a lot of people yeah. to do what she's doing, yeah. what she was doing. Uh, this was her famous uh, quote. Sabi niya, uh, her famous words, If you cannot feed a hundred people, feed one. <laughs> and that inspired a lot of people yes. to not just, not just give, but also to help out. Help, yes. You know, ang iniisip ko sa kanya, ang sinasabi niya, you cannot help everyone. So choose. Mm -hmm. Choose what area you want to use so you can help people, but you certainly cannot help everyone. Yeah. Ganda po ng kwentuhan namin. Just want to end with these images. Now, sanay po tayo ako, lumaki ako sa bahay namin, sa kaparokya, meron tayong Christ the King image, mm -hmm. Christo Rey. 
And uh, I mean, this is what we have. In fact, sa parokya kung meron yung a king, Jesus like a king, sitting on a throne. Then meron siyang robe, red robe. Tapos meron siyang scepter. Meron siyang crown. And uh, indeed, that image must have been brought about in the middle centuries, in the times of the kingdom and the empires, that Jesus is a king, like the kings of those times. But if you go back to the Bible, talaga, Jesus never sat down on a throne, you know, or never held a scepter, a scepter, scepter, or a crown of thorn, of uh, a golden crown of power. In fact, his authority is seen in the cross. On the contrary, he did not have a robe, uh, red, but he was almost naked. He did not have a scepter, he had the nails, <laughs> and he did not have a crown. He had a crown of thorns, actually. <laughs> and that kind of leader we see authority in service, in humility, and uh, a leader that really gives us hope, and even that we will be saved, no? Ito po yung ating reflection ng Men of Light. We will be back with our Facebook messages, ng ating po mga prayers, ating uh, summary and assignment, and our final prayer to be led by Brother Joey Angeles. So the last gap of our episode is some men of light. We're celebrating the solemnity of Christ the King. That authority is service, humility, and hope. As uh, si Judge Jove Mercado will read to us our Facebook uh, messages. I'll uh, see some YouTube at saka po yung assignment natin, summary and assignment. And then uh, uh, Brother Joey will lead us in our final prayer. Thank you po, Father Deo. Alam niyo po, ang saya ko pag uh, sa Facebook messages natin eh. Kasi uh, pag nag-post po ng daylight, no, uh, kami ni Brother Joey, kasama po kami dun sa daylight writers ngayon. Pag nag-post po kami ng reflection, tapos ang dami po ng iba pang mga ano, kasamahan po natin na magsusulat din ng kanilang reflection. Kung baga parang we choose a point and then they will expound on it. So, okay. para siyang isang another community, oh, no? O, oh, oh, sharing, reflection. So, huwag lang po niyong basahin yung reflection. Basahin din po ninyo yung mga comments dun sa reflection kasi ang dami po ninyong matututunan. So, nagpapasalamat po kami kina Tita Dora Ray uh, Lopez, si na George Magtibay, si Maria Socorro Garcia, Edgar Ia, no? Uh, si Tita Elizabeth uh, Kuramin, Zeni Alberto, uh, si Tita Bell, Katigbak, uh, Catherine Tomas, uh, Arnel and Libay Mendoza na taga Saskatoon, Canada. <laughs> no, na uh, patuloy pong nagre-react at nagsusulat ng mga sarili nilang commentary sa mga daylight uh, reflections natin. Uh, sabi po ni, uh, ni Pot, Pot uh, si Theresa Panta Versosa, sabi po niya, dun sa isang reflection niya, shinier po niya yung si Mother Cabrini. Uh, tapos sabi po niya, shinier niya yung trailer ng movie so, so that her story may inspire us to always fall at the feet of our Lord. No? And by that, we mean to humble ourselves when we can't understand what's going on and know that among the many plans we make in our lives, God's plans always win not only because they are from god but also because by following his plans we lead ourselves closer to heaven uh, maraming salamat po sa napakagandang uh, reflection yes. among okay so ating po mga youtube uh, salamat kay ivon set 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 us uh, watching from brooks point sa kasi brooks palawan point. palawan from flower for the 10 years, I am an avid follower of Men of Light. This made me a good Christian and a faithful and lover of God. Continue this apostolate and God bless you always. Then also from uh, Joel Ocampo. Kinukwento niya kanyang example of a fig tree in their home. And his experience of uh, the patience of uh, taking care of the small seeds. No? 
and then si Agariel Ag Ag Agariel Sa uh, Sa uh, watching from Hong Kong. Okay, international. And then <laughs> uh, si Mrs. Uh, Rian, Rian Reyes uh, uh, also sharing with her own reflection. Uh, gusto ko pong share ang, ang, ang greet ang ating mga kaibigan celebrate ng birthday ang ating uh, incoming parish priest November 30, Father Con Conrad ay Conrado Rading, among Rading David, happy birthday, uh, November 30. And then sa ating mga men of light family, uh, Ryan Albert Gan, November 24, siya ay uh, daylight writer. And then November 26, Edwin Marcelo, Father John's brother-in-law. And then November 27, Ati Marisa Baby Henson, siya ay nasa state siya ngayon, siya ay uh, aming uh, leader sa St. Joseph Clark Community. And then Kuya Noel Maniti from uh, Sapang Bato, a very active leader and a volunteer ng, may, ng ating parokya. And also Andre Garcia, November 30. Happy birthday po sa inyong lahat. And uh, for our simple summary, to proclaim Christ the King is to understand and appreciate His model of leadership. It's quite a counter culture the way we understand leaders today or how leaders live their life today. It's not about the uh, opportunity to be wealthy or to be powerful or to be in charge of other people by bringing a lot of fear or even misinformation or arrogance in man. Hindi po eh. In a very simple way, we go back to the many stories of Jesus in the Gospel, in his own experience, in his own uh, witnessing. It's really about Authority that is in service, humility, and authority that brings hope in a very desperate and difficult time that we have. Ayun po si uh, Brother Joey will lead us in our final prayer. Let us place ourselves in a disposition of prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, you stood before Pilate, the King of all, yet you wore no crown of gold and no robe of splendor. Instead, you carried the authority of truth, love, and service. You revealed to us that true power lies not in domination, but in laying down our lives for others. Teach me, Lord, the meaning of authority as you lived it. May I lead with the heart of a servant, not seeking to be served, but to serve. As you knelt to wash the feet of your disciples, help me to embrace the lowly tasks that build up others. Let my actions testify to your commandment to love one another as you have loved us. Grant me the humility of the centurion, who, though he wielded earthly power, recognized his unworthiness before you. May I learn to acknowledge my limitations and approach you with faith and reverence. Help me to see my own leadership not as a privilege to boast of, but as a responsibility to uplift, encourage, guide those entrusted to my care. Lord, in a world filled with fear and uncertainty, help me to be a bearer of hope. As you spoke to your disciples, do not be afraid. May my words and presence assure those in despair. Let me inspire courage, kindle faith, and point others to the assurance that we are held in your hands. Teach me to lead like a gardener tending to fragile roots, nurturing growth, and healing brokenness. Let me face the truth and speak it boldly, even when it is not convenient. 
May my authority be rooted in love and anchored in truth, just like you. Finally, Lord, help me to follow the example of saints and heroes who have laid down their lives for others. Strengthen me to be courageous in serving, humble in leading, and steadfast in loving. May my life be a witness to your kingdom, a kingdom not of this world, but one of justice, peace, and grace. In your name, Lord Jesus Christ, the Servant King, we pray. Amen. Amen. <coughs> The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you and upon your family, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <sighs> ganda. Ganda ng kwentuhan natin, uh, Judge uh, Jovi and uh, Brother Jovi. Ang ganda naman ng kwenta, prayer mo. And parang it's a wonderful time to close the liturgical year. And this coming Sunday, we have a new year and uh, another advent of hope for us. And ito po si Father Deo Gala. Nagpapasalamat po sa inyo. May we share the kingship of Jesus in service, in humility, and hope. Jovay Rosario Mercado po. Gusto po namin magpasalamat kay uh, Tita Chona Pamintuan at kay Miss Nina Angeles para sa Napakagandang bulaklak, nakasing ganda ni Nina. Oh, wow. <laughs> Joey Angeles po, shine the light of Jesus.